yes hello welcome back to another video <laughs> yikes yikes it's a heat wave it's a heat wave and at the same time I got allergies, boy. I got allergies, yo. So, I'm busy dealing with that. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know why I'm awake at this time, to be honest. But I am. Life is insane. Life is insane. So the situation currently is that... Okay, you know I'm from this drug life, right? But obviously, there's... How can I put this? Different levels, intensities, and dimensions of drug life, right? So... Uh, I basically switched between certain levels, intensities, and dimensions of drug life based on my situations and based on different points and times in life, right? So, what I realized from that is that it's very easy, it's very easy to slip into lower and lower levels of drug life, right? Oh, I made a cute hairstyle though, by the way. Like, I made a cute hairstyle today because I don't want the hair on my body because it makes me feel hot. Yeah, so it's like very easy to slip into different levels of drug life. which we don't want to do that right we don't want to do that and it gives a sense of instability not a sense it's it's full-on instability uh chaos and it's like crumbling it's full-on crumbling right right now now let me just say that i am very very grateful to still be here i'm grateful for the fact that my body works now and i see things clearly now especially when it comes to people and how people can fuck you fuck you over and screw you just for not even for their own personal gain just because that's their agenda and that's what they do right so i feel like i see things clearly now but at the same time at the same time uh okay god saved me a lot right and god made me see god made me see a lot of things now because I've been isolated, I isolated myself for so long, dealing with my struggle life garbage. I fail to see what uh, what was going on around me to an extent, right? I fail to see because I was so overwhelmed by my own struggle life situations i was so overwhelmed with my own pain and my own problems and my own fucked up situations and uh my own complexities and insanities and 
deficiencies right now though however i am starting to see what's going on around me a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit and it's not cool it's not cool it is not cool like this is part of the reason why i stay in my own bubble this is part of the reason why i refuse to acknowledge anything outside of what i got going on right i don't like looking at the news and things because it's totally negative and totally puts me in a totally negative frame of mind but because there's elections coming up um i was trying to understand some political views and like in doing so i realized that Youth unemployment is out of fucking control. And what I noticed is that the BRICS countries are the ones affected by this the most. Youth unemployment, like where did all the jobs go? Or why? Do they why do they provide funding for us to study things that are not in demand why like the funding even in my situation like the funding that i received was for a course that nobody ever heard of you understand how do you explain to your family what you are studying you cannot they don't understand this thing right like in my case okay they, they don't understand this thing like you just you just studying that that's just what you're doing uh don't understand the job that you're trying to get none of it and it's really nice uh for people like me who like to be in academics but it's not a practical skill you don't really have practical skills to apply in real world situations you understand but those are the courses that they fund you for which adds to the whole skill they say skills shortage right it adds to the entire skills shortage situation and my thoughts on this is like blue collar is where the money is at in my opinion a trade learning a trade where not a trade where you have to work for someone but a trade where you can do your own thing for people like on an individual basis that is where the money is right now um and that's what will uh allow you to earn an income like there, there there's so many youth with advanced degrees two degrees three degrees um advanced degrees in certain things and you have nowhere to apply that you have to be associated with excuse me you have to be associated with some kind of organization in order to use the knowledge that you have right but if you're in trade you just start doing things for people doing nails doing hair uh, <laughs> doing nails doing hair doing makeup baking things that you can sell to consumers uh and a, a skill that you can use to make things to sell to consumers or you can provide the service of you know eyebrows lashes whatever it is that's where the money is that's just how i feel you can never like i've never met an unemployed bar man or bar lady people who serve you drinks um catering companies that's how they start like you just do it for people people are in constant need of things and if you can find out like what they want or uh, the most or what they consume the most and line it up with the skills that you want to learn that's where that's where you can 
apply it on your own you don't need anyone for that you know things that you you the skill that you don't need anyone for and at the same time at the same time you don't need a lot to start with and you don't need to be associated with any company or organization in order to do and implement your skills i honestly thought it was just me and my kind of in my life and my social circle that this was happening and that we just i don't know we just unfavored by god and not blessed enough to be able to have a normal life that we stuck and trapped in the strug life but now i see that it's affecting everyone and it's a sad 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 situation when the youth when young people who are qualified who have the necessary qualifications who are not being employed and then they take their own lives like that should never be that should never be a uh, an option a young like young people so much of promise so much of potential and just there's too much pressure on them because we were sold the dream of you study for so long and you get a job at the end and you'll be fine your your ability to earn an income would be higher and that's not the case that is not the case at all we were sold lies it was it was a damn lie it was a damn lie when you have youth who are fully qualified with these qualifications offering themselves because there is no there've been jobs searching searching for jobs for like 3 4 5 years and now there's just nothing absolutely nothing so why did you fund that course for us in the first place it's it it, it it's our control in addition to young people doing that offing themselves because of a systematic failure and you can you can cover it up and and make it seem as pretty as you want but it's still a heartbreaking and heart-shattering thing and it it it's inhumane to do that right to make people believe that there is the light at the end of the tunnel once you get through this and you get to the end and there's nothing there's nothing you have to rely on your own intellect on your own um uh, agency and your own devices in order to to survive and get an income somehow this is why the whole um situation of only fans girls are rising because what what else do you expect them to do like respect i understand like strug life cases i completely understand why people are doing only fans i understand i understand completely why people are selling <laughs> get what i'm saying i understand completely because there's is something out it's like like i honestly thought it was just me and cuz cuz i'm like extremely anti social after i've been fucked over by everybody i thought it was just me like you know dealing with struggle life shit but the situation is out of control it is out of control there's nothing funny fun or pretty about making the youth suffer 
nothing nothing and also okay so the youth is going through this right but also hunger the issue of hunger is extremely dire and i did not know that until i started watching the news again this week well last week i started watching the news and uh, saying that hunger is a real situation and um okay i'm from i'm from shrug life i'm from jungles i'm from the jungles and um people are eating monkeys now <laughs> because there's literally nothing else to eat um mothers are mothers and fathers okay let me not be one-sided just that i i okay never mind <laughs> let me not be one-sided but mothers and fathers are offing themselves and their kids because of hunger and that really that really it's a mind fuck it's a mind fuck it's a, it's a emotional um, situation and do you know why One of the con one of the major contributing factors here is corruption. Not lack, not lack, not lack. It's corruption, and it's really a sad situation. And like you, it's bad leadership. bad leadership because we have like they have they have resources they have the money they have the funds they have they have they just don't use it for what it needs to be used for and that's that's like it's, it's out of control it is out of control I am disturbed in my soul. I am disturbed in my soul. And the worst part is that nobody is doing anything about it. Nobody is trying to fix this corruption issue. Nobody is trying to hold people accountable. Nobody is trying to um, make sure that they do the right things so people don't go hungry. If the youth unemployment is so high and if people who are working can't afford food, <laughs> like... You failed as a nation. And the only solution here is good stewardship. That's the only solution. We need ethical and moral leaders. That's what we need. really a sad situation anyway take care of yourself try and move up the rungs of the strug life <laughs> with less intensity and less uh, dimensional complexity I guess, I guess.